Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. We appreciate you all joining us today. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at CACRO.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, CACRO.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Good morning. Let me unmute myself. I think you have me muted because you mute everybody, Cacro. I can hear you. You can hear me? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Awesome. Okay. Well, good morning. My name is Tarsha Brown and I am a recruiter here for Greenville Technical College and we are just so delighted that you all have decided to um, join us this morning to learn more about um, Greenville Technical College. Um, just a few things about the college. We are a two year community college. Um, we're in the heart of Greenville and we are uh, accessible. We have five different campuses located throughout Greenville County. Uh, we have about 11,000 students um, with us and our application fee is, we don't have an application fee, so you can apply at any time for free to Greenville Technical College. Um, um, our top five programs here at the college, I'm gonna just pull those up for you and um, share that screen. Just give me one second here. All right, I hope you all can see that screen. Um, our top five programs here at the college are Associates in Science, Associates in Arts. And those programs are basically, you come to Greenville Tech for two years, and then you are able to transfer out to one of your four-year universities of your choice. We do have 82 transfer agreements with four-year institutions throughout the state of South Carolina. And so if you wanna to come to us for two years, get an associate's degree in science, and maybe you wanna go into engineering, so you transfer over to Clemson. Um, our courses transfer seamlessly. We have Mr. Chris Satterfield that works in our planning and head Quarters Transfer Center, and he is well um, equipped to let you know what type of classes did you need to take here at Greenville Tech before you transfer to that school of choice. Um, we also have an awesome nursing program. It's at one of our top five programs. So you can receive your RN degree from Greenville Tech, and then you can transfer to USC Upstate. That's another um, school that we have a great articulation of program with. You can go from RN to BSBM. And then we have our Megatronics program. It's a high demand for advanced manufacturing here in the Upstate. And so we have um, articulation agreements with um, our apprenticeships with companies such as GE, BMW, Bosch and Law, you name it. They are looking for students who are interested in those type of mechatronics, robotics um, fields. So um, we, we thrive on, on, on our transfer agreements. But you can come here and get a two-year degree and go out into the workforce, or you can transfer out seamlessly. Um, we have over 100 programs here at the college, so there's so many different things here for you. Uh, one of the things I like to tell people is we are, you know, we're affordable. So Greenville County residents, um, if you live in Greenville County or in the state of South Carolina, you're gonna automatically qualify for our lottery tuition. And so at the lottery tuition, the cost to attend Greenville Tech will be $1,069. That's very affordable compared to some of your, your other institutions. But if you receive a life scholarship, that means if you graduate with a 3.0 or higher, your tuition at Greenville Tech was be almost free pretty much to just just for tuition so keep that in mind um 
Also, we have a 15 to 1 on student faculty ratio. So um, if you don't like large um, classroom settings, 200, 300 students in a class and your instructor doesn't know who you are, then Greenville Tech is definitely that place for you. Um, students who get an associate's degree, they earn on an average of $12,000 more than someone with just in high school education. And so um, just wanted to share that bit of information with you all. Um, our process is easy. You can go online and you can complete the application. It'll take you about 10 minutes. Um, and then you can, um, you know, we don't require SAT or ACT. Um, you can take those, of course, and we have um, scores that are needed. Um, we require a 480 on the reading and the math for SAT and a 19 on the ACT for um, reading and math. But if you haven't taken those and you don't want to spend money to take those, you can always take our, our placement test here at the college for free. Um, I do want to encourage you all to go ahead and let your parents know that they can go ahead and complete the FAFSA form. They open that up beginning October 1st. And so for those students who go ahead and do that early, early is always better because um, there are funds out there for students who are need-based and they, they, they come basically first come, first serve. So we want to make sure that you um, go ahead and and get that FAFSA form completed. Um, I think that's it. Do we have any questions? If so, you can, um, I have right now how to apply to the college up, but if you have any questions right now, please feel free to go ahead and enter them into the chat. Are there any questions out there for us at Greenville Tech? I know there must be some questions. I know I didn't answer all your questions in that presentation, did I? Well, can you just enter your name and tell me um, what school you're from in the chat? Yes. Okay, so there's a question. For the diagnosis medical sonography, it would be four semesters, right? Yes, that's the well that compl I, I don't want to say yes because that really depends on the student. It depends on how many um, course classes you take per semester. So typically it would take four semester, but it does depend on the students and how many um, classes you take. Some students are part-time, some students are full-time, but typically it is a four semester program. So when should I start applying if I want to, to go to college in the fall of 2021? Um, Shirley, you can apply now. Go ahead and apply now um, to Greenville Tech. And so you can go to our website at www.gbltec.edu go ahead and apply and get that um, application completed. Like I said, it takes about 10 minutes. We also ask that you send in that declaration of legal presence form. That is a form that will just state that you are a legal resident of the US. We'll need that form with a copy of your government issued ID, your driver's license, your permit, and then we'll need test scores. And after that, we can um, get you admitted. Are there any other questions out there? So is it hard to get into the diagnosis medical sonography program? What I will tell you is all of our um, health sciences program are on a um, weighted scale. And so I, I would say that it is very competitive. So you want to make sure that um, you, when, you, when you apply to the program that you really um, strive to make A's and B's because 
our health sciences programs are very competitive. Are there any other questions out there? We are here. We have about 34 minutes left in this session. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask. So at this moment, I'm just going to turn it over to my counterpart, Mr. Angelo Kendry. He may have some other things that he'd like to add, uh, maybe that I, I omitted. So um, Angelo, do you have anything you want to share with the group? Well, I will say that a lot of uh, students actually come here um, and they take advantage of what we call experiential learning. And experiential learning is a, a, pro, a partnership that we have with different companies like GE, um, Bosch and Lam, BMW, and some of your big companies within Greenville County. And what they basically do, if a student goes into um, uh, uh, supply chain management or um, mechatronics, or there's a lot of different um, career fields or programs that a student can go into and take advantage of this. And what will happen is they will be able to co-op with a company and actually work for them approximately 20 to 25 hours a week. And also uh, that company will help them pay for their college while they're a full-time student. So the benefit to the student is that they will actually learn the culture of that company. And at the same time, they will um, um, they'll get paid for it, but they're going to have live hands-on experience that they'll be able to take with them, even if they do not accept the position um, at the end of their two years. So it's not mandatory that a student takes the job at BMW or Bosch and Lam, but they will have two years of experience. But the, the program is really designed to, um, um, to bring students in at an early age so that they can um, uh, be groomed by these companies and receive that experience. Thank you, Mr. Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other questions out there? How does it function, the life scholarship? So um, when you graduate from school, if you send your transcript to Greenville Tech, um, once you do that, you don't have to apply for it. But if we just see that your um, final transcript has a 3.0 or higher, then the, our financial aid office will automatically apply that scholarship to your package, your award package. So your question is, so because I have a 3.75 GPA, would I, would I apply for the life scholarship? So like I said, again, you don't have to apply. You just need to send your final high school transcript and you would qualify with that GPA. Our financial aid office would award you the life scholarship once they see that final GPA of a 3.757.
And so I can usually see when I'm verifying things that they need to complete as soon as we get the um, transcript, you know, indexed and attached to it. So. So do I need to have the FAFSA completed before applying? Um, it's not that you need to have it completed before applying. You can do both of them simultaneously. Like you can apply to the college and you can apply to FAFSA. You can do both now, or it takes you a much shorter time to apply for the college. So like I said, you can do that in about 10 minutes. So you can go ahead and do that, but I would go ahead and definitely go ahead and complete the FAFSA too. You're going to need your parents or guardians um, tax information to complete the FAFSA, but I would go ahead and get that done. So to, to be considered a full time student, that is 12 credit hours, 12 credit hours. And so typically our classes are um, and we have all sorts of classes we have face-to-face -face classes, but right now during this um, pandemic se season, we have about 10% um, of our students who are face-to-face. -face. Uh, we have online classes, and then we do have hybrid where some students do classes online and some come to campus. Um, but 12 credit hours is considered full-time. And most of your classes will be like a Monday, Wednesday class or Tuesday, Thursday class. Typically, we don't have classes on Friday here at the college. Very rare um, that we offer Friday classes. Are there any other questions for me? And uh, if you can see this presentation, let me just share this screen with you. Um, you can see the presentation right here on how, oh, I think I got out of that. So there's a presentation right here. It's showing you what you need to do to apply to the college. And students also, I wanna encourage you to um, utilize your personal email address versus your 
um, school email address because we'll be trying to contact you when you've graduated possibly and you won't have access to your school email address. Um, so use your personal email address and make sure you store um, your login information in your phone. Sometimes people forget their um, login information, their passwords. So make sure that you sign them into your phone, log them into your phone or save them in your phones. So how do you do, how do you apply? You create an account to start your application. You click the apply now link at the top of that page. And you can go to our website at www.gvltec.edu. Um, hit apply now online application button. If you are starting a new application, click no. The first page creates an account profile. This account allows you to update your profile and non submitted application, communicate with the Enrollment Services Department and upload your documents. So I'm just scrolling through what that application looks like so that you can be aware. And that's it, it's pretty simple. So I also want to just share with you that we do have um, campus housing at Greenville Tech. We are one of the only technical colleges in the state of South Carolina that has housing. So if you would like to live on campus, there's that opportunity here at Greenville Tech. Uh, we have four different um, or three different models. They are apartment style. Each student will have their own bedroom. Um, some students have their own bedroom and bathroom, and they, they share a living room kitchen quarters. So um, that is a separate application. So if you apply to the college, that doesn't necessarily mean you've applied for housing. If you want to apply for housing, then you need to go and apply through our campus point um, for housing. See, do we have any other questions here? Are there any other questions for us? Can you hear this video, Angelo? Mm. No.
Okay, everyone. So you have just saw a video with um, all of our campus here in Greenville, and they have um, various programs that they offer. You saw from culinary, you saw from our Center for Manufacturing Innovation Center where they do megatronics and robotics. You saw from our automotive center where they work on cars. Um, you saw from our health and wellness programs. Um, so just wanted you to share some of the videos in our facilities here at Greenville Technical College. Um, let's see if there are any other questions out there in the chat. I think I saw a question out there about how many programs that we have in with the experiential learning. Can I, just, um, I answered it and I put a link in there. I, I hope that you received that link. If not, just please um, let us know if you've received that link or if you didn't. Awesome. I'm glad you received that um, information. Are there any other questions out there for us? Do we have face-to-face -to -face tours? So currently we do not have face-to-face -to -face tours because of the COVID-19. However, if you will continue to check our website, uh, we are currently in the process of seeing how we can accommodate face-to-face -to -face, um, tours during this um, pandemic. So just continue to check our website concerning face-to-face -to -face tours. All right, do we have any other questions? Well, if we don't have any other questions, um, we certainly do thank you for taking time out to visit with us at Greenville Technical College on today. Um, we're gonna put our information in the chat room so you can email us if you think of some questions afterwards. Um, and we hope that we will see you here with us in the spring or fall or summer. For those students who may be graduating early, there's that opportunity to begin with us in January. Um, but if not, we hope to see you um, as a student at Greenville Tech in the summer or the, or the fall of 2021. Um, continue to stay safe. Thank you. Kakral, do you have anything you want to end us off with? Technically, our session ends in about nine minutes. Um, and I don't know if the Kakral presenter has anything else that he'd like to say, but if you if you all don't have any other questions, you are more than welcome um, to leave the chat.
Thank you, Shirley, for all of your questions. Have a good day.